All right, I'm going to start off weekend winners. There's not a lot of winners right now in Italy. Um, if you see it, Italy is, uh, they're dealing with bad part of coronavirus. I think I saw yesterday they had over 300 people die in one day, in day. due to the illness on Sunday. Oof. So the n- the numbers are uh, are bad in, uh, in Italy, but the mood is great in some of the neighborhoods. I don't know if you've seen some of the videos that have come out, but Italian neighborhoods are, singing. are uh, they're cr- I mean, obviously they've been locked inside and they're singing. My favorite, they're, they're, there's a neighborhood that's singing a Rihanna song, but there's one Ella. Uh, <laughs> with a guy who uh, just steps out on his on his balcony and starts bl- uh, playing the trumpet. I've not heard this. You, this you were is, texting about this. This is I've fantastic. This. If you want to just come here, Rivs, to the... Uh, to the surface and check out the visual if you're watching on 104.5 ESPN.com of everybody just out on the balcony watching this guy play. And he's playing Imagine by John Lennon. I mean. Look at this. And look at everybody hey, looking at him. This is a good part right here. He's, he's great. Mm. Mm. So that, that that was one scene. This is ribs. I, I thought about you when I saw this one. Um, this is this is another neighborhood in Italia enjoying their night off. This is singing uh, Rihanna. <laughs> Check out this. Turn it up. Wow. I mean, they're going a little stir crazy. Though. They're, they're, they're doing it. Though. They're crazy. going for They're doing it. the thing. So shout yeah, you out have to both, Italy. You have both mm-hmm. videos both still playing, taps. too, in both the background, too. So we got on little, brand. Got a little trumpet and Rihanna going on. Uh, okay, well, oh, what, what you may not have seen behind all those closed doors, uh, people might be cranking it, too. Because <laughs> uh, shout out to yeah. Pornhub. As uh, they have, I'm, I'm fascinated to see the <laughs> analytics that come out of this. But they have decided to give Pornhub premium accounts to uh, everybody in Italy oh, while and, they're under quarantine. And not only that, and I, I don't know exact. So is we that have even to look Italian it culture? But Pornhub <laughs> is actually also donating uh, a part of like their revenue to Italy and to like coronavirus-related stuff. So like they're really coming up. Good PR. You know? Good PR. <laughs> uh, they are, really are, <laughs> they are doing something. That's, <laughs> that, that's that word. <laughs> Okay, my, my first weekend winner. I'll <laughs> save you out of this river. I'll dive in. I'm a weekend winner. Uh, okay. Oh, well, I was just going to help uh, you out of your no, sex no. joke transition there. No, All right, no. you go You go next. <laughs> just transition out of it. You know, Rick Patino. We're going to transition right to Rick Patino. Perfect. Who's <laughs> no stranger to that Perfect. C word in bad places. Perfect. Your guys slipped back into college basketball under the cover of Slip coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it got no it's one really. Quickie. Yeah, I know what. No one really noticed it because everyone is talking about coronavirus. But um, he is returning to college basketball as the next head coach of Iona. The school announced Saturday. He yeah. hasn't coached uh, basketball since October 2017 when Louisville fired him after an FBI investigation into college basketball. Tino's back, baby. Tino's back. back. Baby. Uh, I've been telling you about Rick for years. He actually, uh, the funny part is, in his uh, uh, initial press conference, he mentions Dick Vitale. He better and talking to him the other Dick day, Vitale. yeah, and how Dick was telling him. I that mean, this Dick deserves a cut. Job is great. Yeah, I mean, he's been yeah, on the Patino yeah, Dick bandwagon. A cut. Oh. Uh, Mark Cuban. How about that? My Palmer. first. My, wait, what about me? How come? How come <laughs> I got skipped? You, you did Pornhub. Oh, you did Pornhub. Oh no, I was just tagging onto yours. I wasn't. Oh, I was just tagging. Yeah, 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 I thought that was your winner. Right, Palmer, you got. I think the Democratic debate was a weekend winner. I didn't see it. For one, no one, no one. You didn't see it. What else was there to watch? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Knives Out, Lost Frozen Two, stuff, go. Frozen yeah. Two, Rise of Skywalker. It was pretty funny though. We seeing Biden against Sanders. I think T. Bob tweeted this picture. I don't have it. Uh, the Using force choke force. picture. That yeah. was me. Who won? In oh, your I opinion. I don't know. I just watched the highlight. Oh, wow. Okay. They did an elbow bump. <laughs> they did do an elbow <laughs> bump. <laughs> they did an elbow bump, though. I did like that. Yeah, even though wow. I'm, I'm, I'm full no contact now. I'm not even elbow bumping. I'm okay. just hitting people with the... Uh, did y'all have to say no to any handshakes this weekend? No. I gave a lady a hug yesterday at a oh. birthday party, and she looked at me like she yeah. she was like, "Are you? Have you lost your mind? You put what her in a tough here? spot. You put I her in a tough sometimes spot. Sometimes I forget it. I know, I know, but like, what are you supposed to do? Like, I took one handshake from a guy, and then I said no more, and it's had like two or three awkward interactions where I had to be like, "Hey, dog, nah, we're not, we're not doing that now. Just keep we're your not. pods in and keep your head down. <laughs> yeah, just, we're, we're not doing, well, I lost the pod, so you know that. Oh, a couple weeks back. Uh, your wires now. Find them? Yeah. No. My first weekend winner is Mark Cuban. Uh, Shout out to Mark Cuban. Not only is he paying his stadium employees for these six games that are going to be missed during this initial uh, 30-day suspension of play, 
but he is also reimbursing his employees who eat at local small businesses. So if you work for Mark Cuban or the Mavs and you eat lunch at locally owned independent restaurants, you will get reimbursed in that, supporting the local economy, trying to keep help keep these small businesses afloat and uh, using his vast resources for a good cause. Shout out, Mark Cuban. I mean, aside from the fact that that is a really good move by him as far as like, you know, like in the community, but also it's a great PR move. Yeah. That guy's killing Rips, the PR game. He is killing PR, and he needed it. Ooh. Like, he had gone through a PR disaster. Mm. Well, and it's a bit opposite. I mean, Rivs, I think we should jump straight to your yeah, second weekend winner. Yeah, I'll say my, that winner. works with mine. So my second weekend winner is Zion Williamson, and really yes. the rest of the people in the NBA who are stepping up to help out arena workers. So Zion announced that he's taking care of the entire salaries of arena workers for the next 30 days. Part of his statement, he's a really long statement, but part of it says, People of New Orleans have been incredibly welcoming and supportive since I was drafted by the Pels last June, and some of the most special people I have met are those who work at the Smoothie King Center. These are the folks who make our games possible, creating the perfect environment for all of our fans and everyone involved in the organization. So, shout out Zion. I mean, rookie guy paying. And I I don't know all the details, but um, the Pelicans have actually released a statement about why they aren't doing it. It's really weird. It's really odd. It doesn't actually explain anything. It doesn't make anything. sense. Basically, they're saying they're only tenants of the Smoothie King Center. So, like, I, I'll, I'll they're read not it the right ones here. that I'll should read, take care of it. I'll, I'll read the PR. last part. Yeah, so <laughs> I, That's bad power and like, I, I do want to almost, like, because before we transition like, immediately in that, let's just double yeah. down on, like, but highlighting the Zion. The goodness of Zion. And, like, yeah. Kevin Loves doing it. There's a yeah. couple other people out there doing Giannis it. Like, is yeah, Giannis is doing a 100 grand like, donation. Like, Rudy Gobert has done well with the public relations post. <laughs> he is. I mean, he donated 500000 half a million. He's come out and gave statements, done the videos. I mean, How about Mark Emmert uh, acknowledging what everybody was already saying, which is that it quite literally was Rudy Gobert's infection that made (laughs) them cancel everything. Like, that was the fine, that was the straw. Thank you, Mark. That broke the camel's back. As if it hasn't been bad enough for me. Uh, Yeah, if you're Rudy, right? But, okay, but here's the Pelican statement. It says, um, earlier this morning, the Pelicans engaged with management at ASM New Orleans to determine the team, uh, what the team could do through ASM New Orleans to assist their employees. While it's a bit more complicated, being that the Pelicans are simply the tenant of the building, the giving and helping this community in time of need by Miss Benton and her organizations is unquestioned. When people need help, there is never a question. I have a question. Of who will be there. <laughs> I got a question in the back. What are we doing here? Why wouldn't the billionaire help out right now? Uh, I mean, yeah. like, I, I think that, and they have been very philanthropic, and I, I I hope that this is maybe some legal red tape that they're trying yeah. to wade through, but, yeah, but bro, that's a terrible statement yeah. as it stands today. It didn't seem Boss. very legal for Zion. He just did Disgusting. it. Disgusting, yes. Yeah. Why yeah. are you going to let the 18-year-old rookie pay it when the billionaire owner is sitting upstairs putting out statements? That's a bad look. It's yep. a bad look. It's yep. a bad look. Mm-hmm. Um, Generation X, you have another one over there? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Baton got? Rouge for sure. Yeah. You know, we had all the stuff canceled this weekend, but everyone was at the lakes. They were running. They yes. were doing what they could. But you're allowed, but away you from technically everyone. should be able to do. Like, you can go out and run. They've said, like, absolutely. Just, yeah, you, you just got to keep six feet. Just keep six feet. Just keep six like feet. Like in a kayak. Mm-hmm. Great day for kayak. No grinding. On Saturday. No grinding, um, kids. I see you out there. Kids, man. Uh, shout out to Generation X. I'm an Xer. I was mm-hmm. born in 1980, right there on the Ooh, cusp of a millennial. you are millennial. right at the edge. Right? So I was wondering why Generation X was trending on Twitter, and uh, it looks like we were made for this type of stuff. I think 81, starting in 81 is a millennial. Okay. So um, a, a tweet that's been popular for the Generation X crowd says, uh, hey, Generation X, it's time for us to leave. We were neglected as hashtag latchkey kids. Mm-hmm. So like your parents weren't around because they were working. Okay. You were at home like so, having to, uh, to do every, stuff every, like every 90s movie that yeah. I've seen supports this. Yeah. Right. Parents divorced, it says, working recall. hard. You get off a bus, it. you walk yeah. home, you head home. into an empty house, make a snack, <laughs> get your homework done, and nobody knows you're home until dinner time. To be fair, I looked like that. You know, like a lot of people did. But technically that is like the Gen X thing. Explains my loner mentality. Yeah, exactly. Leave me alone. Exactly. Uh, my next weekend winner is Ryan Tannehill. How about this guy? Uh, so he signed a contract this weekend, or he will sign, I guess, when the new league year begins. Uh, Jordy, that'll basically make Ryan Tannehill three years and $91 million guaranteed. You, uh, so his first two years, I believe it's 17, then 24. Those are fully guaranteed. His third year is guaranteed for injury. Or guaranteed to be still on the team in March of 2021, and that will be a full 29 million. What's crazy now, man? This is a guy who was making. I, I think they had to take like five million off the deal to even facilitate a move to even get the Titans to take him, and now he's about to get 91 million guaranteed. That's even more new guaranteed money than Russell Wilson got. So what does it do? 
shows you that you just got to be hot once and winning playoff games matters, even if you only throw like eight passes in each playoff and game. And get yourself good representation. Shout out to Ryan Daniel. He had a t- he had a good 10-game stretch, essentially, and just got paid $91 million guaranteed. And they're going to franchise tag Derrick Henry. <laughs> How bad is Derrick Henry going to have to be wow. watching Tannehill make this what money? What a great agent Tannehill has. Um, I think we just have a couple more. My last one's quick. LSU football. So we had Michael Johnson, executive chef, on last week. We asked him if they were going to do their crawfish boil that they always do. He was like, no, we don't have one planned. Well, then the NCAA canceled all spring practices and team meetings. They have to be done by today at 5 p.m. So they got the crawfish boil in on Friday afternoon. Yeah, so uh, Coach O made it happen. Plus his PSA. He's really, really He's killing. killing the game. He's killing it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Where to go, Coach O? I, I don't think I'll get crawfish this season. Mm. That's a shame. It is a shame. My last weekend winner is movie rentals. I had a good time yep. watching movies this weekend. I watched Outbreak. Okay. Then I saw Contagion. Oh wow. And then Twenty Eight Days Later. Okay. So I'm I'm Sheesh. super uh, on it. edge here <laughs> about this whole deal. But Bob's like, you know, there's not enough anxiety out yeah, there. That's, can that's I just I like, can we ratchet this thing up just a little bit more? Oh, it was great. It was great too. I'm in full apocalypse now mode. Contagion's a great movie. So is Twenty Eight Days Later. Those are your weekend winners here on Off the Bench.